Hello, hello, Kalu Kale, how are we doing today? My name is Notepad and on and I write games for fun. So, what's the plan for today? Today is item day, or more accurately, items. Yes, we're gonna be doing items today. Lots of items, 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 items. Yes, yes, yes. I love items. Everything is great. Uh this is going to be the next big hurdle. I knew it was going to be the next big hurdle. I embraced that. I enjoyed that. I was ready for it. <laughs> uh, so, did a little bit of work. Got potions done, as you can kind of see. I got potions done. I've got some basic adventuring gear done. Got a currency done. Did a little bit on snap casting, because I felt snap casting was fairly important. Uh, for the sole reason of, hey, you can make your own spells if you want, there just takes time, and it's kind of just annoying to do, but you can technically, because that's something you should be able to technically do in-game, they just don't let you because that. Uh, it is expensive though, that's kind of the, that's kind of the main issue with it, is that it's just expensive, but I've got all of the, all of the mana costs in place. Most of them are... It's a little bit difficult to do, but you got to find the book, obviously. Once you find the book, you can get all these other things. So that's not the complicated part. So, uh, snap casting is pretty much, this is how you learn how to make new spells. This is what you got to do for it. Nothing too complicated. The only odd part is right here, which is just kind of... Effectively, if you snap cast a spell, what happens is that you have to roll a mana die. If you want to create a new spell whole cloth, let's say I want to create a spell that lets me, uh, I don't know, do open doors remotely. Open door spell. That's a fairly mundane action. So I can, it's a simple mundane action, and it's, let's just say, it's two simple mundane actions at its very core. Because I'm doing it from a range, and it's taking time for me to do it. I'm telekinetically opening a door. So if I cast the spell, what I need to do is actually take 2d10, roll it, and that's how much mana I use for it. I used eight mana instead of with a maximum of 20 and a minimum of two. Once you formalize it, you just add them together and you know divide it by two. So in 10 plus 10 is 20, so you'd have 10, it would cost 10 mana to do that. However, the big thing there is you can then do levels. You can increase the level, decrease the level of a spell while it's still only paying 10 mana for it. Yes, I can telekinetically open a door from, you know, 5 feet, you know, 10 feet away, 20 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet, 50 feet, 60 feet, something like that. That's kind of the idea. Uh, equipment, this is kind of the idea of equipment. This is the idea of currency. Everyone uses gold. Very basic adventuring gear. I actually took this pretty much one-to-one -one from uh, Zombies and Ziggurats, which I've been working on. Lots of potions, because I've got the potion. Uh, yes, I've got l lots of potions. Uh, these are all technically potions in the game, including uh, just various status potions, Acid Proof Liquid, uh, Cure Critical Wounds, Evolution Potions, Fireproof Liquid, Focus Potion. I added Focus, I added Juice, Focus, and Jet. Uh, just to pretty much have MP potions. That was legitimately all I added them I added them in for the point of having HP pots for MP because I felt that was appropriate. They all take up one slot. You don't they don't they take up a little bit, so I don't want people hauling around like 800 potions. That's kind of the goal there. Uh, but kind of I see you got kind of the idea of the potion level. If you say, "Hey, you are, you know, you fight an enemy and they win. You get a D12 on whatever, the, on, the, on the randomized potion chart. You roll, you roll the three, you get a level one potion and it's going to be like a water, a soda, some hard liquor or a Molotov cocktail. You know, that fun, that potion, the Molotov cocktail potion. 
Uh, Evolution only has one technical potion, you know, one technical uh, ability there, but that was just kind of, this aren't that many potions to work with. But, yes, weapons, armor, weapons. The big thing here, what we need to do today, is this. Are you ready, everyone? This is going to be fun. It's not. It's not going to be fun at all. It's literally just going to be me here, me sitting here, waiting and doing all of this. It's going to be long. It's going to be annoying. There's going to be nothing fun about this, but I have to do it. So, uh, yeah, let's get, let's, let's, let's get to it. Yeah. So let me, I have a weapon broken down into appropriate category. Each weapon has a number of die and value of the die and how effective is dealing damage. Damage bonus, damage bonus to each weapon is added on top of the roll, da is added on top of the roll damage with the, with the hit bonus, with the hit bonus, hit the bonus, a B, D, B. Uh, y, YDX, YDX, indicating uh, on top of the roll damage with the hit bonus, with the hit bonus. Uh, uh, roll damage with the hit bonus, indicating a, um, is added to the, is added to the weapon, is added to the weapon skill check, added to the weapon skill check, to make uh to make a striking with the weapon with the weapon e yep striking with the weapon much easier so you have a hit bonus of 10 that means you add 10 to whatever your weapon skill is means you get to do it a lot easier <sighs> okay so let's start with how do I want to do this? Hmm. Is this the base value? If we move the base value over here, it's going to look a lot easier for me. So, number of die, die sides. Mm. Number of uh, number of die die sides die sides damage bonus uh damage bonus DB hit bonus HB HB DV bonus some of them contribute to the DV bonus do we really want to worry about the DV bonus? Yeah, I should worry about that. Mm -hmm. Certain weapons contribute to the uh to the wielder. Let's see. Some certain weapons contribute to the wielders. Mm -hmm. Defense actually. Certain weapons contribute to the wielder's defense value. Adding adding increased protection. Adding increased protection protection for using for using the weapon this can uh, this can also also be a penalty also be a penalty as it is more complicated to defend themselves with. defend themselves with the with the weapon finally finally mm, no i don't need to worry about that so we are going to Get rid of that because we only need to work like defense bonus, defense, uh, defense, and then um, we do defense. You over here, me swinging my three D seven sword. Yes, you want to throw your 3d7 claymore? That is entirely possible. That is that is your god-given right to do that. Um I should make a note about it being 
Should make a note about them being two-handed or not, shouldn't I? Handiness, handiness, handiness. Uh, let's finally, uh, finally, the handiness, the handiness of a the handiness of weapon is the required number of hand number of hands hands to use the wep to use the weapon to use the weapon successfully use this weapon successfully. If a the mm, hero uses it one, if a hero uses uses a one-handed weapon, one-handed we, one-handed weapon with two hand with two hands. Finally, the hand no weapons. Oh, finally, handiness of. Uh, Hero use one-handed weapon with two hands. Successfully, period. When using a two-handed weapon. Using a two-handed weapon in one hand. Actually, no, we a one-handed. Using a one-handed weapon in two with two hands. With two hands, they uh the hero gains a fortune fortune to all to all attacks. Uh, if a two-handed two-handed weapon is used, two-handed weapon is used with one hand, with one hand, then uh, then they gain a ruin to all attacks, which is a negative ten effectively to the actual skill, which is like yeah, that's I think fairly appropriate. So we've got this. So handiness, we're gonna just get to this. So. Let's go through and just double check everything. Long sword. So, long sword. 2d8 damage plus 4 damage bonus. I think we can reduce that to a 2 damage bonus. Hit, we are going to reduce, we're going to increase the 10, but it's not going to do. Uh, actually, no, we can do it in the 5. No defense, base value, handiness, one hand. Mm, actually, we'll do 1. Mm. One-handed. Katana. 4d4. Damage bonus. Reduce it down to 4. We're just going to reduce it down by 2. A little bit, just so, again, the numbers don't get too insane. No hit bonus. No defense bonus. One-handed. Claymore. 3d7. We're going to reduce that down to 6. Hit bonus is going to be 5. Hit bonus is going to be 5. Zero defense. 500. Uh... Two-handed. Lightsaber. 2d5. Damage bonus. We're going to reduce that down to zero. Hit bonus is going to be five as well. Zero defense. 4,800. It's going to be one-handed though. Why would you ever use a lightsaber? Uh, Actually, what we can do, we can actually increase the hit bonus up a little bit because it's a fucking lightsaber. Hand axe. 2d9. 5, 2d9, maybe we reduce that down to 8, keep it nice and rounded, 2d9, 5, hit bonus of 5, we want to keep this in intervals of 5, so damage bonus is going to go up to, actually this 4 originally, let's bump that up to 10, damage bonus, we're going to reduce that by just 1, actually we can, yeah, by 1, no defense, one-handed. Battle axe. One. One D18. Seven. Reduce that down to five. Hit bonus five. No defense. Ooh, mm. We want to look at a battle axe. It's a very, def it's a very weird weapon. Tell me more about the battle axe. Tell me more about the axe, the battle axe. Hmm. I guess that would be a one handed weapon.
Wait, wait, uh, wait. So why not just write out 3D7 plus 6 instead of 3 columns? Well, here's the problem, Ethical. What are you building now? This is the autism's moment. Here's the problem. This. Every single one of the materials might affect different parts of it. A certain material might, inc might increase the die factor, but not actually increase, but not actually factor in the damage bonus. Or the damage bonus might change, might, you know, the die might not change, but you get a bigger damage bonus. I have to break them apart because every single material assumes that it's broken apart. To them, these are all, every, to them, every single one of these is a different value. It is a different entire value to consider and worry about. So I can't write it out like that. Because again, we live in crazy town. Remember everyone, we live in legitimate crazy town, so don't worry about it. Uh, check something long story. Actually, I have, oh, oh the agony. Mm. You don't have... Hmm... How do I want to word this? No, it would be entirely based off of... If we do it based off one, two, four. If we base all all weights based off of one, two, or four, so this would be two, two, one, four. Hand axe would be one, battle axe would be two, bardish would be four. Because the battle axe would be one handed. Two handed. Because two D nine, one D eighteen, one D twenty. Hit bonus would be with a plus 5, would actually go up to a 10. The Bardish would be negative 5. Because you have it's a two-handed weapon. That's kind of the that's kind of the drawback of the Bardish. We're going to reduce the damage down a little bit. But it's a, then the material says increase die number by one, die size per two would just be 49 plus 6. Exactly. There's I want to pretty much write it out similar to this so you can just go down the chart. That's literally all it is. So what was the game system you told me to copy? Uh, I don't know. Copy whatever you want. Uh, it does not also help that these are all technically not accurate. That's, that's one thing you have to remember, Ethical. These are without a material. So I don't want to be like, you have a long sword that does 3d7, you know, that's 2d8 plus 2 damage. I don't want to give them that because that's not technically accurate. Because this is technically a, a non-entity one. That's the weird part. It's a non-entity. What is the number besides the weapon? That is the item code. Technically, I will get rid of all of those afterwards, but it's the item code in the game itself. Sickle, one hand, one handed, one, 2d5 plus six hit bonus, which we're going to give us a 10. Scythe, 1d17 hit bonus is going to give us a five defense. That's going to be two handed. Actually, we can do four, two. Weight is going to be four. Chain sickle. What does the chain sickle look like? Tell me more about the chain sickle. Oh, it's a kunai on a stick. Oh lord, kind of rank attack, doesn't it? Mm. It's not my fucking problem anymore. Uh, we're going to reduce that down. We're just reducing the damage bonus ever so slightly down a little bit. Hit bonus is going to be 15, I think. 
Five, one handed, one hammer, hammer. Handed, it's gonna be two socks. What the fuck does socks mean? Oh, of course, it's literally a sock. How can I, how can I forget? Uh, Warhammer, and if we're working with the Warhammer. Eh. Shit. Okay, so I mean we don't have it on here. So if we're basing it off of if we're being consistent, most of these do that, so we can maybe do one D twenty two with a damage bonus of let's say nine. We boost the hammer down. We'll keep the hammer actually we'll keep the hammer at about four but you have a pretty nasty negative 10 to actually hit with it. The Warhammer is going to get a negative 10 as well. It's going to be two-handed. Value is going to go down to, we'll say, 2,500. Mm. There we go. We'll do 1d25. That's the amount of damage a Warhammer can do. Big damage on the Warhammer. Uh... Technically, everything is worth 500, so we'll just bring it down to 500. Staves. Hi. Hello, Digimon King123. Uh, welcome to Item Autism with no pet add-on. It's going to be great. So, staff. Why is a whip here? That's such a weird... A whip is considered a staff. What? Nani? Fuck it. <laughs> I'm rolling with it, alright? We're gonna roll with it. 4d3 hit bonus okay so hit bonus with a four we're going to bring it up to 10 with a long staff we're going to bring this up to 10 as well with an eight we're going to bring that up to 15 i think doesn't do a does a pretty good amount of damage so we want to do two-handed 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 I guess you can use a whip with one hand. One handed. This is going to be two, two, one. So technically you could have a steel. Technically you could have a steel whip if you really, really want. Nothing's gonna stop you from having a steel whip, everybody. If we want to be really specific, we can just put pole arms because I do I do technically re regard them as the same whip is kind of an odd one in there but we're not going to think about it spear I guess spear would be one handed so long as the albert would be two handed so this would be four, two, 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 one, zero. We're gonna do zero, you're gonna have a negative five, you're going to be at ten, you're gonna be at ten. Actually, you're gonna be at five. You actually get a defense bonus, so that means with a defense bonus. Let's double check here real fast, everybody. The defense bonus. Spears get a PV bonus, and Tridents get a defense bonus. So what we're going to do is, since we're going, we're going to give 5-5 five, five to each of those. 
That's going to increase your base defense by just a little bit. It's probably not going to mean much, but you're going to get something out of it. That's all that matters. Daggerinos. Dagger clock. It's dago time. We're going to reduce that down to two. One, three, zero. I like it how the kitchen knife does 1d14 damage. We're going to reduce it to that. Daggers with... 10, Jesus, I guess we can give that like a 20, 10, a 10, and a 10. Wakazashi. Damage bonus is pretty fine. The kitchen knife just does a lot of explosive damage, but not really much else. We do two-handed, actually we do one-handed... Longbow. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to separate these out just so we have a clear distinction of what is a... These are melee weapons. These are range weapons. We're going to have range now. We're going to put a little note there. Saying, hey, here's the. So if we do. Let's get rid of all of you. RD. I have to I have to be very precise with some of these things just because they are not written correctly. So everyone, does anyone have any um, exotic weapons they would like to see that I have not put in correctly? Any exotic weapons are currently available. Uh, most likely, there's a few that need to be put in different places, but... Delicious. Got any chainsaws or drills in there? Uh, technically, chainsaws are a thing in the game. That is important. There are, in fact, chainsaws. Uh, but no, not currently. I guess I could... Uh... Let me just do some... Let me just do some uh, cleaning up here. So if I want to be a chainsaw when I grow up, where would you put a chainsaw? I get you would put them in an axe. I guess that is correct. So if we go to axes, we go here, we hit control X. We go right here, we do this, we go like this, we go like this, we add in the chainsaw! Uh, do we have any math for the chainsaw? I didn't think so. Let me think. Alona chainsaw damage. How much weapon, how much damage does a, does a chainsaw? They're not going to tell me, are they? Of course they no they're not going to tell me because that would be far too fucking easy. Uh list of such weapons.
I mean, if we're basing it off of this, if we want to get the idea that the chainsaw is still considered technically a basic... Well, actually, okay. So, if the negative edge is a chainsaw, like, let's see. It's unique acts. Unique, it has a unique appearance of a chainsaw is dropped off H-Sister during removal of Sister Quest in Ludus. Hello, H-Sister. She has a chainsaw. So if we want to use the chainsaw, if we use the negative edge as the example one up here, which is 4d10 plus 15 damage. So, let's assume that this is going to be a 3d10 damage, plus 5, because this is a special weapon, plus 15. We can even, let's bump it up to 8. Now, what's her hit bonus on that? That's the question. What's the hit bonus? By negative 20. So, negative 20 means it's going to be very hard to hit. No defense value, base value. Uh, do we have a... It inflicts massive damage to gods. So, let me think. It's a bardish... Uh, incorrect translation of bardish, but... Mm. So, if we want to base it off of the value of things, because this is already incredibly valuable, so maybe we do... If a lightsaber is 4,800, 4, we're going to then, I guess, attribute the chainsaw to be 3,000. Okay, easy enough to understand. Were drills an E+, plus? yes. Cha Legitimately, the basic weapons in Alona are very simple. It's axe, hand axe, barty. Those are this is every single type of axe technically, of all the basic axes. The, like a lot of stuff was added in things like Alona Plus. So drill. Where would the drill go? I want to be a drill that. Okay, it's a pole arm. That didn't sound. Drill. I will be the, the I will be the one to uh pierce the heaven. Uh Gotun sixty sixteen. So Drillu if we want to do a drill for pole arms. I mean if we want to be real specific, we can actually add it two things, which is going to be the lance. We can do the lance, which to do that. We can add the drillu. Drill! Drill! Because I am the drill that will drill the heavens. Uh, we do this. So randomly generated 6016. Maybe we can do like 2d16 right off the bat. With a damage bonus. What's your damage bonus? It actually doesn't have a damage bonus. Doesn't look like it has a bonus to hit. Do you have a bonus to hit? You're going to tell me if you have a bonus to hit, right? Has a hit bonus of negative 18. So, we're going to apply a negative 15 hit bonus with that. We're going to bump up the value to be 2,400. I'm going to say it's two-handed weapons with a four bulk. Lance. How much does the lance do? Tell me more about Lance Summer. Lance Summer. What is it? Um, Tatsuma. This is the staff. Precious pole arm. Bamboo. Pile bunk. The pile. The pile driver. I mean, if this is the holy lance, in a basic lance, if this does seventy-five. So if we want to do. We can probably do like 3d5. 3d5 with like a two, like, well, we'll say like a three damage bonus, negative 10 to hit because it's a fucking lands. Actually, no, this would be a. This would be a negative 15 to hit, zero. This is a fucking lance, so I'm going to assume it's going to be a little bit awkward to hit. Uh, zero bonus, but it's going to be pretty easy to get a hold of. Two handed because it's. Fucking Lance. Pretty 
Forky. That pile driver. Good old pile driver. Pile bunker. Okay, so let's see. We've got a lot of pole arms. We've got a lot of. Let me check. Do we have anything exciting for longsword? Is there anything exciting and cool for longswords? Probably not. Nope. Uh, they don't get anything cool because it's a fucking longsword. Sorry, sorry, longsword chads. God hates you. You don't get to have nice things. Uh, do we have anything fun for Blunt? Nope, not really. I could add a Tetsubo. You know what? Just to give uh, just to give Blunt some one other thing, just to kind of balance them out a little bit. We can give them a Tetsubo. Going to be 2D, uh, I'm going to say it's 2D 15. Damage bonus is going to be 5. That's going to be 4. It's not going to be that not good. We're going to give you a negative 5 to hit with the Tetsubo. Uh, we'll give them that. We'll, we'll say it's 500 for, there we go. It's not really as good as just beating a motherfucker with a hammer. But you get a little bit of defense bonus out of it. Because it's, actually, we'll even make it 1D 15. So there we go. Those are going to be our very basic weapons so far. So now we get to apply the fun part where I get to do paste unlinked. Okay, I expected this. I both expected this and dread this. Uh, let me apply this. What happens if I do that? Everything breaks. So what happens if I hit Lexen? What happens if I go to extra light Lexen? We reduce everything down to 8-point font. Okay, we can. I can make this work. Cost handiness. Um, we do... Why don't I select everything here? Middle. One hand, and why don't I just select this, this column entirely? Just post everything we need in it. Cuckoo, ka choo choo. It's not my problem if I don't see it. One handed, one handed, one handed, one handed. Then we do two handed, 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 two handed. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we let's shrink this down. Shrink die sides down. Let's shrink number of die down. Damage bonus. How big are you? You are 0 0.04. What if I do 0 0.0 What if I do 0.4 for all of you? Are all of you going to fit? All of you fit perfectly. Cool. What if I bump you all to be one? Well, this doesn't work, but maybe we do 0. 0.5? 0. 0.6? We do 0. 0.6 for you, and then we bring you back down to point 0. 0.5, 0. 0.6. We do everything at 0. 0.6. Everything looks ready that looks good what we can do is no something like this doesn't look amazing but What if I do, what if I do this? What if I, what if I do my un, 
unmitigated, yo, know, dog shit opinion. What if this is really me? What if he's literally me? I might give it color, I might not, just to break things up a little bit more. But, I wonder if I can... In Henry. I'm curious what actually happens here. No, not split. What if I sort table sort ascending? Yeah, that did about exactly what I thought it was going to do. So what I need to do is separate each of these out and then organize. All right, that won't be long and tedious to do, but don't worry, you know why, because God is, God is in his heaven. I am, um, and add blunt to blunt weapons. Uh, oh, my, uh, Roman ban, uh, Roman bandit mail armor. Uh, uh, sword heresy, add a blunt to blunt weapons. No, we are not adding a blunt to blunt weapon. We already have enough smokables as is. I could add all the smokables to it, and that would be kind of amusing in its own right. Uh, range weapons, range weapons do not, range weapons do not have a handiness. Uh, range weapons, range weapons work, work similarly to their melee counterparts. Range weapons work similarly to their melee counterparts, except instead of having, instead of having a handiness, instead of having handiness, they have a rate, they have a range, which indicates which indicates how many spaces spaces they can they can reasonably they can reasonably fire uh reasonably fire to reasonably uh how many spaces they can reasonably fire fire to if they for every uh for every space outside of their outside of their range they take uh, they take what they take one ruin to the one ruin to check but for if but if they are within within half range they are within half range half range they have a hmm they were within let's see but if they are within half range they gain a they gain a they get a fortune to their uh to their uh to their to check to their check ranged weapon uh when using when using any ranged we uh, when using any ranged weapon being with uh being within uh being within five five feet actually being adjacent being adjacent to an enemy enemy will always always incur a will always incur a ruin ignoring ignoring the uh, ignoring the fortune will always incur a ruin to any to any any check to shoot shoot any target to shoot any target it's difficult to aim when some when a creature when a creature is nipping is trying to gut is trying to gut the hero it's difficult to aim when the creature is trying to gut the hero you know that's kind of the idea uh oh yeah but also About that right now 2d7 we're going to reduce the damage bonus by a little bit arrows are going to be unique i'm going to put these i'm going to put these down in a very unique category called ammunition ammunition short bow skull bow mm -hmm.
so repeating bow a ballista yes you can have a ballista in this game so long bow hit bonus is going to be a 10 uh, actually no it's going to be a 5 the short bow is going to be a 10 the skull bow is going to be negative 20 but the damage bonus is going to go down to 8 Short bow is going to go down to 0 actually it's down to 7 uh, range longbow if we want if we do six four actually no we do eight so we do eight five it would technically be about three would be the actually if we keep it four skull bow is kind of the special one and this is going to be two one four skull bow is very heavy crossbow 1d22 damage, 6 damage bonus, 1, 2. Hit bonus is going to be 10, 5, negative 10. We'll do negative 15. Defense, we're going to do a negative 10 on the defense. So if you're using those, range, we're going to make them a little bit longer. Crossbows are going to be a little bit longer. Heating bows aren't very good. It's gonna be two, two, four. The ballista is very fucking huge. Stone, 1d12 damage. Yep, it's just gonna do 1d12 damage. Uh, since it's, it's gonna be strength divided by three. Uh, panties. You aren't gonna worry about the panties. STR divided by 3. STR divided by 2. STR divided by 3, because it's a little bit... That's kind of the idea with the, sh with the shuriken, is it that you can aim at them. Actually, no. Divided by 3. Stone, 1d12, 1d20. Rock, 1d, uh, 1d40. To hit bonus is going to be a negative 15. Defense bonus is going to be 0. Because you're just throwing a fucking rock at someone. Stone is negligible. Shuriken is... I'm going to say one per... Yeah, it's just going to be one. Grenade is going to be... One. A rock is also going to be... And then my favorite, the gun. <laughs> I believe this is supposed to be an energy cell. Weapon, bows, crossbow, gun, laser gun. My my favorite my favorite fantasy weapon, the laser gun. <laughs> Pistol 1d22, zero damage. That's to hit bonus. We're going to bump that up to a 15. Machine gun, 10. It's super easy to hit people with a fucking machine gun. Uh, shotgun, five. Laser gun, five. It's very easy to hit people with these weapons. Range, a handgun can reasonably hit. We'll do eight, six, four, Four, and we'll bring that up to ten. Uh, one, four, four, four. Do we need any additional firearms? Tell me more about firearms. <laughs> There's the there's the energy cell. 
I actually I guess we could have a a sniper rifle. Mm. Mm. If we want to do a special, ah, uh, yes, the uh, the G3 EXA, uh, 1D75, which person is token, uh, 1D75 seems a little bit extreme. How about we bring that down? How about we do a 2D, I don't know, how about, how about, uh, how about 20, a 2D 20 roll, you get a 5 bonus damage, you get a 5 bonus damage on it, it's a little bit difficult to hit, but then you're using it, you get a little bit of a penalty using it, we bump it up to 1200, uh, it's range though is going to be, uh, 16, it has the highest range. Yeah, you were very, you were in danger if you used the rifle, but you're going to do some damage to it. All right, so. X and eight, so we need to go. Select all of you here. We go to Lexend eight. then center you all you then get rid of all of the color because we don't need color where we're going except you you become black all of you become reset the color on all of you we do that This we extra light. Actually, what we can do maybe Bowing weapons. I don't think we'll be able to get. Hey, why do you look so? Why do you look so nice? Oh, because you don't have to deal with the handiness. You no longer have to deal with handiness. Uh, so we do that. So firearms. Firearms. We are one out. Ooh. Can we... Can we cut anything? I mean, I guess if we... You're already eight, so I mean if we do... Eight here... I'm not responding to things, I apologize. I'm just very focused. Eight here. Eight here. Oh, we so. Maybe. 
maybe we reduce the Lexan by five. There we go. If we do, if we do that, it's a little janky, but process works. Uh, range workings work similarly, so you're always going to have these. So, the other important. Mm, finally, uh, finally, uh, range weapon. Range weapons require require ammo. As long as the let's see, as long as the hero has let's see, as long as the hero has has per has purchased the ammunition has purchased the ammunition, they are free to you they are free to use the uh, free to use the weapon free to use the weapon as long as they as long as they as long as they can. They uh, they may lose the ammun they may lose the ammunition they may lose the ammunition due to critical fail due to critical failures however uh, due to critical failure uh, due to critical failures mm, failures or other disasters the ammunition the ammunition value the ammunition value is added to is added as a flat is added to as a flat modifier added as a flat modifier to the damage uh, to the damage of the fire of the fire uh, of the of the of the what the ammunition value the ammunition is added as a flat modifier to the damage of the weapon allowing allowing a mediocre mediocre bow to deal to deal a uh, good damage deal uh dan to modifier to the damage with the ammunition with the uh actually flat modifier to the so we go to here we're just going to worry about the damage bonus so we're going to say if you have a basic arrow it's going to do three bolts are if we do four we do five there two two d two that's going to be an average of two, effectively. Two, we're just going to do a damage of three. At least technically, we should make that a four. Energy cells, 2d11, so that would be 11, 2d11. Fuck, what would be the uh, average of 11? 2d11. Uh, 12 plus 4, if we do it at, let's say, 14. Did they only need to really worry about this? Uh, delete this row. Delete column. Everything here. Eight. Light. Mmm, extra light. Delish. Hello, God, okay, people are here. Hello, Rat Raid. Hello, Rat Raiders. Sorry, this is called being really, really focused on doing these things. Oh God! Hello, yes, hello, hello, Kalu Kale. My name is Notepad Anon, and I write games for fun. Uh, we are working on the uh, unofficial Elona tabletop role-playing RPG that I got paid money to do. Uh, this is to give you an idea. To give you an idea of what the plan is today. Uh, just to kind of give you the idea that's very important. Uh, 
this is every single kind of weapon in the game. All right, easy enough. Now, I might say, wow, Notepad, that doesn't seem like a lot of weapons, but au contraire, every single weapon can also be modified by this material, which is going to edit almost every factor of the weapon to various degrees. Yeah, we're, we're doing weapon day today. And we also have to factor in that this does it the same for armor. So yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm having a ball. I'm having a lot of fun. I wish to die. Please send help. It's... <laughs> that looks like a lot. Yeah, it is. It is a lot. That's the funny part. That's the fun part. <laughs> But yes, no, we've been uh, making progress on it. We are, let's see, we are, how many, How far are we? We are 74 pages in. Most likely we will hit, I'm going to be a guesstimating man. We will probably hit 90 pages. That's my, that's my guesstimate at this point is going to be about 90 pages worth of game. Uh, general word count at this point though, uh, we're going to near a little over 20,000 words. That's going to be my guess. About 20,000. About, I'd say about 23, 24,000. Maybe 25. Ah. It's not that hard. It is literally just sitting in a spreadsheet and sit. It's just sitting. That's the, that's the real fun part. It's just time to sit. Sit. And wait. There's nothing you can do. You just gotta sit and wait <laughs> and just do the math and just do the do the numbers. But everything should be good here. We've established everything here. This is a little bit janky. I can probably fix this later. If I want to be if I want to be efficient about things, I do that, put range weapons in its own thing. Do something like this. But that also that also looks weird in its own way, so Yeah, hello, so hello rat raiders. Let's see. Yeah, okay, okay. This is fine. I'm fine. Everything about this current state of affairs is fine. There is nothing wrong. I am fine. Uh so we've done weapons. So now we get to go to armor. Going to put, we're going to go to Armor, Armore. I also failed, exactly, I can't just sit. I also failed math in high school, so. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not too difficult math-wise. It's just a lot of looking at numbers and double-checking numbers. and Because one of the issues with this game is that by sheer technicality, you can get dice going all the way up to D9999. Uh, every single die is available, even dice that don't exist. So have fun with D23s. Woo! I love D23. I love D23. Hell! Okay, so we really need to worry about the PV bonus. That's what we really need to worry about. Not as much as the, the DV. Because DV is effectively your dodge bonus. PV is your protection bonus. That's the actual math we need to keep an eye out. Never too late to learn math. Pretty much. Okay, so... um. Let's just do the basics right now. Let's just re reassess where, where things need to go. Yeah, we've, we've put everything where we need to go. You see, there's quite a lot of gear here. However, we don't need to worry about that too much. What I am going to do, though, is we're going to do this. And we're going to, I'm just going to put in the idea of type. Now, you may be wondering, what is type? Type is going to be what it roughly looks like. Because if I can tell what it roughly looks like, you can give a player an indication of what it probably is going to. You know, it's kind of like, hey, actually, no, we can't really do that, can we? Because it can be any type. You can technically have a cloth 
If you want to be very specific about things, you can have a cloth breastplate or a raw coat, which allows you to eat the coat or have a metal clo metal coat. You can have chain mail that isn't actually chain mail. You can have chain mail made of cloth. <laughs> that is an entire thing we need to consider, uh, which I'm not going to think about too hard. Uh, I'm going to call this the cleric's robe. Cleric's robe for the... Uh... So, okay. How do we want to do this? First things first, let's go to armor. Armor! Armor! Armor is the primary method of gaining... Of increasing the hero's defense value. Increasing the hero's defense value. If... Uh, each hero, each hero has a, each hero has a head, has a head, chest, uh, feet, head, chest, feet. Head, chest, head, uh, head, chest, uh, back, neck, and... Uh, hands, two uh, two rings, and a belt. Let's see. Every hero has a head, chest, feet, back, neck, hands, hands, two rings, and a belt to uh, place various uh, various pieces of armor and uh, items items upon. Uh. Well, the hero may be. Well, the hero may put on put on two hats. Two hats. Two hats. They will only only enjoy the benefit wearing one of them. Wearing one of them. The total the total defense value is added together. The total defense value is added together. Checked. Uh, and checked by and checked uh, and checked by the defense value chart. Char uh, it's checked by the defense value chart. Whenever the hero is, whenever the hero is attacked with a, attacked by physical means, by physical means, uh, attacked physically, attacked physically, they will reduce the dam. They will reduce the damage by the defense by the listed defense value by the, uh, by a die value equal. Equal to their equal to their defense value. Equal to their defense value. That basically here equal to the defense value. Now we have to make the defense value chart. Now I'm going to show you all the real defense value chart. Now this is how they actually handle it in Alona. So the interesting part. This is the actual way they handle things. Now you may be wondering again. Yet yet again you may be saying Notepad. No, please stop hurting me this way. Stop. Stop looking at. Stop that. Stop that, please. I have a family. People care about me. Uh, yeah, this is actually how it's technically recorded. Where you take. <laughs> Depending on your armor, effectively, you take a percentage of their damage off and then a die roll. When you picked up college math book and taught himself algebra because he paid no attention to school. I gotta do like your father, but with calculus, because I forgot how I, I forgot what I learned about calculus in college. I I did my best with math in college. My my time with math in college was math one, two, three. Where I learned about electoral math and various different kinds of calculations regarding uh counting ballots and stuff like that. Because there was practical maths. Uh, have no fear. I thought that was very interesting. So, it was actually kind of, it, it was actually genuinely interesting though. So, let's do total defense value. Damage reduction. Okay, so. Total defense value, damage reduction. This is going to be our math. So, everyone, are you ready for math? I know I am. Uh, 
If we do 5, 10, 15, if we do it like this, we go up to 70. Because if we do it the way that it is currently written, this is... We do it by the way that it's currently written, which is going to be incredibly wonky. It is... 7, 3, 5... 7, 3, 5, uh, uh, 9, 15, 31, 20, 20, 23, 30, 40, 67, 18, and then a uh, hundred and then this is going to be 98 actually 102 actually so 102 that is the actual increase in your pv to get to the next tier here that's a little bit much so <laughs> we're not going to be doing that we have whole three courses of physics i like physics the teacher was an ass and he only gave good grades specific girl because of reasons that is like the thing with math like i for the longest time in math when i was in high school especially i had really bad teachers i had teachers who did not care and i did not care like i i, I was like math is dumb i don't like math math is stupid i hate it and i don't want to engage with it but then I got into high school, and I was already in stupid math. Mind you, they did put me in literal, like, stupid track of math with a couple other kids who were like, we just didn't get math very well. And they were all the ADHD kids or kids who just didn't care. I was like, yeah, I get that. And then it was in, like, high school and college when I had to take certain math classes. It kind of clicked for me more. I was like, oh, okay, I get this now. Like, I understand, like, what they are actually saying i understand what they are actually kind of putting down i also just realized mm. so i mean if we do the idea of we keep it at five 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 we and then increase it by ten 25, 35, 45, we increase it by 15 now. That would be 60, 75, 90. We increase it by 20 now. 110, 130, 150. We increase it by 25 now. 175, 200. Technically 225. There we go. We do something like this. So it gets gradually harder to get higher defense value. But it's it's lower to get it. But you do, one thing is you don't get this. Per, I'm not. I can't put in the percentage. I reasonably cannot put in the percentage. So uh, one thing I know is that the number of die is more valuable total than. I mean, if we do. If we do something like this, 2d3, 2d4, if we do something like this, maybe, that seems pretty, that seems pretty fucking hardcore, though, um, 2d3, I mean, we do 2d3, 2d5, 2d7 and then 2d9 like you're just this is just a flat value you're removing it by i mean if we do it if we increase it by two each time i have no idea what it's going to do if i do this so this would be 
At 200, it'd be 2d29, you reduce every piece of physical damage by 2d29. That seems pretty extreme. Maybe, actually, we do one, we do two, and then you graduate to three. No. 3d. Hmm. If you have suggestions, now is the time to tell me. <laughs> or we can just keep it with a single die and the amount of dice you roll increases. Uh, we do like 1d6, we do like 1d6, 2d6, 3d6. Then we do... Or like we do it like the D like we just do it like by number of like D6s. I don't know why it's sixty six seventy. See now that now it feels like it's way too low. Because if we do this, you have a minimum of two, maximum of six. One, six. That's 210. That's 212. 214. Uh, 318. 321. No, 27. Yeah, 27. Four. 24 it falls off later as you get higher and higher as we get so much higher so high, high like this is universally lower than this actually like this is pretty heavy because mm. 14 14 d6 14 d6 has a chance of, of fully mind you of resisting 84 damage you do the full... There's no fucking consistency with this math. God damn it. Hmm. Consistent heavy. Um... Because it's like, yeah, you can get two, 2d23 is you have effectively the same odds of rolling a 2 as a 46. Here, you have a 11 to 66 damage reduction. That's too high. I mean, maybe we do um, 1d6, 2d6, 2d... No, that's... Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to do percentages. That's like, that's a big thing. I don't want... Because effectively how it works is that if I hit you in Lona, I hit you, I successfully bash your fucking skull in. What's going to happen is that you're going to reduce the percentage by your damage reduction. Then, by a, but the percentage is modified by whatever that value is. So you see 7%, it would be 7 plus 1d3%. So it might be seven. It might be eight percent. It might be ten percent. You don't really know. But there's things that go around the damage reduction as well, which is kind of like. So I need to keep it lower consistently. But any di but any die work. Any die value works. So. Hmm. 
might yell Tufty. <laughs> Tufty! Might, no, no, not yell at Tufty. Tufty's terrible at math. I'll yell at Keo. Keo! Keo, please! Pixie math! Hmm. Six, two D six, two D eight, eight, four D. No, no. How about we do one D five, two D five? Actually, no, no, no. Here's what we can do: we can do one D four, two D four. 3d4, 2d6, this, yeah, no, no, that's not as consistent, fuck, um, math, fuck, this is the, this is the line right here, this is kind of like my, 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 my Kilimanjaro line, if I can, if I can get it to work here, I can get it to work everywhere. One D five, two D five, one D six, one D six, no, one D four, one D uh, one D five, one D six. No, that's triple the value. You get a fucking D six in it. Ew. Mmm. Such a big jump, though. Hmm. Two D three, two D uh, two D five, two D two D seven. Then we do to three D seven. 40, it would be 47, 3D9, 3D, it would be 3D11, 4D11, 4 to 44, 2 to 30, 7 to, uh, 7 times 49, so it would be 7, this would be 7 to 49, so this would be 4 to 44. 5d11. So I'd be 5d11. Four D nine. Five D five D eleven. Five D eleven. Six D eleven. Seven D eleven. 7d13 8d13 9d13 and 9d13 20 20 20 20 2 2 2 Okay, no. 2d3, 2d5, 3d7, 3d9. 
this is block A. This is your initial block. This is block two. This is your secondary block. Block three. This is block three. No, wait, no. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 10, 10, 10. 15, 15, 15. 20, 20, 20. In the 20 class. Okay, so if we do 2d3, 2d5, 2d7. 3d7, 3d9, 3d11. 4d11. 4d13. 4d15. 5d15. 6. 5d17. 5d19. 6d19. 60, 19, 6, 60, 21. That's the constant growth. That doesn't seem right, though. Something doesn't seem right. Something does not seem right. Something is not right in the land of milk and honey. Hmm. Something is not right in the land of milk and honey, my friends. Um. Two, two, two. chance of rolling 126 damage reduction at 6d21 uh i feel as though i should reduce these values somewhat um maybe not two maybe not intervals of two I think this is going to be a lot easier to get because even down to things like if we go under our our baseline here of about 90 at about 90 we do 96 we go to any dice what is the what's the thing with 96 on average you're going to be blocking about 32 points of damage you're going to roll it you're going to try to mitigate some damage big damage with the attack so let's just let's just think we're doing some big damage with the attacks. Longsword. Let's say we've got a good... <laughs> Hello, phone. Please, tell me more, phone. I wish to know more. 
You're gonna tell me all about it, aren't you? This is insanity. Okay. PV bonus. Plate mail is going to give you a 21. They're maxing it all out. If you have like an insane amount of it, then you can technically get up to that tier. But that's, I guess, what you're specializing in if you do it that way. This does mean armor isn't as valuable. I, it, it's one of those things like the armor kind of dips off after a point or just isn't as good in this one, which is the issue. It becomes too good in this one. And this one's just a confusing fucking mess because you're getting real big numbers all of a sudden. But you kind of start getting big numbers across the board. 3D11, I mean, if we... Four, six... Two, four, six, eight. We reduce the math down a little bit. It'll only end up a D20, so then maybe maybe we do that. Maybe we do uh, two, four, six. Because you were technically shaving off three. That's the kind of the idea. You can shave off three from the value there. So you shave off four from the max. Doesn't seem like a lot, but... 6d20 and 6d20 is you have dumped all your points into getting as high as protection value as possible and you could still roll dog shit let's go with this one the math is a little bit better in that regard i'm okay with the math here I am okay with the math. Not my not perfect, but it is something we will have to deal with. <laughs> That's It also ties, I think it ties pretty well into the idea of the previously established resistances. If we do previously established resistances, people kind of understand what's going on with them a little bit easier. Okay. So, uh, physically reduce their damage die by the value, uh, the, the die value of their defense value. Let's see, whenever a hero is attacked physically, they will reduce the damage. Uh, they will reduce the damage... They will actually they will apply the damage reduction damage reduction to the apply the damage reduction to the uh dam damage reduction by rolling their dr they're rolling their dr dice if we want to be consistent if we want to do so this would be 2d2 would technically be two four seven i think actually notes this would be five Three, three d six, three d six average, three d six average would be ten point five, and since we'd round down, it would just be ten. Ten three d eight. Would be 
we just it would just be increased by two. So it would just be 12, 14. I believe we jump up with an entire die value, increase it by whatever the die value would be. So I believe 4d10 would actually become, like the average of 4d10 would become 22 actually. I would have become 22. What's the average of 3d10? Or did I do my math wrong? It probably did. 3d10 would be 16.5, so it would be 16. Three D eight would be twelve. No, it'd be thirteen. Yes. No. No. This is consistent. Three, four, five. Give me the average, baby. Uh, twenty six. Literally adding the average for my own uh, my own perpetual autism. There is no other reason for me to be adding the average outside of I just want to give people the average. Because that's who I am. Because that's who I am. A uh, 30. 444. Four. So this would be 37 technically. 37, 5d16 would be a slightly different, I believe that would be 40, if I'm doing my, if I'm, if I'm doing my, my thinking correct, I'm going to be about 40, no, it's going to be 42, yeah, it would be 42, Forty-two, and then you would be about forty-five-ish. If I'm no, you would be forty-six. I'm doing. I'm thinking this correct. You're going to be forty-six or forty-seven. I'm do. If I'm thinking of this correctly, it wouldn't be forty-seven. Yeah, I was right. Sixty eighteen. You would be increased by. Nine, so you would be fifty five if I recall correctly. Nope, I was one off. I was it's fifty seven. It is fifty seven by a mark of barely anything. So six D twenty, the average of six D twenty. Would be sixty four ish. There we go. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, Luke Clay. So let's get to now. We haven't even done what armor actually is yet. So here's what the armor is. Uh, so we're going to take all of this. Going to make it better. We're going to do this. We're going to apply Lexand right off the bat. Put it like this. Put it like this. And we're going to go to town. So, breastplate. We don't need to worry about damage bonuses or hit bonuses. Much. So, uh, hit bonuses, uh, defense value. We're going to apply defense value. Do we have any? Not really. So what we're going to do is we're going to select everything here. Do that. Select the entirety of the F column. Put you over here. Select all you. You right there. Okay. Defense value, 10, 3, um, yeah, 10, 3, 12, 
21, 14. Let's bump you up slightly. We're going to bump you up slightly. Chainmail is going to be a flat 20. Because if we make it, if we make Chainmail a flat 20, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to immediately say like, hey, I've got up to this. Like you've got a good solid baseline. To kind of be like, I want to be a warrior man. Maybe that's a terrible idea. I don't know. Let's... Let's go back. Let's let's not let's not be creative. Being creative is the wrong. I, being creative is wrong. Uh, clerics robes. We're gonna reduce those down to six. I think light mail is. Let's put you up to nine. A coat. A coat. We're gonna make. I think we can make ten. Breastplate is. We bump that up by a little. And a bulletproof vest is going to be fifteen. Yeah, that sounds about right. A uh, magic hat for fairy hat five. Uh, I forgot to put in weight. Maybe I should put in weight here. Uh, um. mm. Weight stone. breastplate let's just do basic robe i want to wear a basic robe that is going to be one it's going to be weight one i want to wear a so the coat what would a coat look like coat one cleric's robe one let's do chain mail three how about we do one for light gear, three for medium, medium armor, five for heavy armor, and then like, if we do it, if we're keeping by the tone of, we can do eight for super heavy. So breastplate, I would consider a breastplate to be pretty light, relatively speaking. Banded mail, that's pretty heavy. Inconveniently heavy. Plate mail, ring mail. Composite mail is heavy. It's it's kind of the idea of like this is inconvenience more than anything. You're paying. It's a it's not as good as getting something else. Not as light. And if you remember, if you're a fairy, you can't actually use anything that is that you know that weight. You can't really use anything. So it's kind of like okay, that's just kind of inconvenient for me. Light mail. Uh, you can, light mail would be one. Actually, we can make. Re breastplate. What's the difference between a breastplate and a breastplate? Tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> ah, yes, of course. How can I forget? We actually do have weights. But... I know for a fact the weights are going to be a little bit off-kilter, so... I mean, but we can use it. Though. So let's... The weights are a little bit off-kilter, so we can do... Let's see. Banded mail is 17.5 stone. So let's make that 8 stone... The breastplate up here is 12, so we're going to reduce that by, make that 3. The robe is 2, so we can just make that 1. Banded mail, what's the banded mail? 17. Okay. Plate mail, though, no, plate mail is, make that 10, no, we'll make that 12. Bulletproof jacket is going to be pretty cheap. Breastplate. Um, breastplate. 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 
breastplate. Ah! Um. Uh, brigadine. I guess we change it to a brigadine. Uh, we change breastplate, all one word, into brigadine. I think that would be appropriate. Do uh, this one would be. No, 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 no. This one would become the Brigadine. This one would become the Brigadine, and the Brigadine would be... Uh, Brigadine's going to be five. So we'll make it six. Because stones operate, don't operate off fucking logic, because phone, because it's fucking dumb. Okay, so let's just change, let's just do this. So I want to make light armor. Light armor is one. Medium armor is four. Heavy armor is going to be, we want to, uh, actually no, why don't we do medium armor to be five. Heavy armor to be, t uh, be eight. One, five, actually it'd be four, three, four, five would be, mm. we do something like that. Keep it consistent. Keep it reliable. That's kind of the idea. Like keep it, actually no, e Mm. Brigadine, heavy armor. Actually, you know, we'll do nine. How about that? We'll 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 we'll, we'll play it by your robe. One, banded mail. Inconveniently, inconveniently nine. Plate mail, very heavy. Fifteen. Ring mail. Ring mail is, according to this, 13.5. Comparison to... If we go with the idea that the ring mail is roughly on the same caliber, a little bit heavier, we'll put a 9 there. Actually, we'll put a... We'll put a... We'll put an 8 there. Composite mail. Composite mail is full of... It's just full of stuff. It's just heavy. Why don't we do 9? Actually, let's put it up to 10. This is a lot of stuff. Chain mail, very reliable, very good. We're going to make it to 12. Cleric's row, 1. Light mail. What does light mail look like? It's 4.8. We're going to make it a 3. Coat. Coat is a coat. It is like coat that you can put on. It is 4 stones. And um, we're going to make it, uh, we're going to make it a 3. kind of the idea like you got a coat and it's kind of a heavier coat you got some armor on it let's uh let, let's let's bump up how much does a coat normally how much does a coat normally tell me more tell me more about the fucking coat coat is normally a defense value of nine and the light mail is a defense value of eight so if we bring you down to 8 and we bring you down to 9, you're both way the same, but you're not getting as much out of one than the other. The breastplate. This is just a breastplate. We're going to make you 7. Not getting as much out of it than the brigadine, but you're getting a little bit there. So bulletproof vest is going to be a solid 3. There we go. Nice and simple. Easy peasy lemiano squeeze yonsu. Okay, magic hat. Magic hat, one. Fairy hat, one. Feather hat, one. Heavy helm, three. Night helm, five. Helm. Mm -hmm. K. 
kettle helmet. Mm. Actually, what we can probably do is just do a leather cap. It's a... Why is the... We do eight. Actually, no, we do the night helmet is nine. You get down to seven, but you are... We do you... Actually, we'll make you eight. The leather cap is a little bit better, but it's going to be worth two. Composite helmet is inconveniently heavy. That's the problem with the with the helmet with the end with the composite helmet. Provides highest PV. Yeah. Necklace. Necklace. Uh, wait. Zero. Peridot zero. Doesn't cost anything to wear these. Neck guard. Uh, yeah. Neck guard is fine. Charm is going to give you a little bit there. Talisman. Um, what does the talisman do normally? Hmm. Tell me about talismans. What do they do? They give you normally a dodge bonus. Talismans give you dodge bonuses. Uh, so we're not going to worry about it because actually what we can do is add a... Um, why don't we add an evasion bonus? Peridot is going to offer us a little bit of a damage bonus. The Talisman is going to offer us a flat evasion bonus of a plus 10. Neck Guard Charm is going to offer us just... Um, Peridot, let's say it's going to give us a 5. You're going to get 3 out of there. Uh, Bejeweled Amulet is going to give us nothing. The Engagement Jewelry is going to give us nothing. Because that's not the point. <laughs> cool. All right, um. Cloaks, 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 cloaks. Wings. Vindale cloak. So the Vindale cloak, we're going to put a footnote. We'll put a footnote there. Feather cloak. Feather cloak, we're going to reduce you down. Wings. Wings uh, are going to technically do anything. Everything wears one. 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 Two. Two. Three. One. Reduce you down by one. We bump you up by one, we bump you up by one. No, we do four, we bump you up by one, we bump your weight to two, we provide you with three. Armored cloaks are just heavy and annoying. These two are gonna provide you put a mixture, put a note for those two that they provide light. Shield, claw shield, uh seven evasion bonus. So, decorated gaunt, decorated gloves, do they provide defense value? Yes, they're going to be reduced of defense value though, because their damage bonus is going to be two, and their evasion bonus uh, normally would be their DV, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, it would be their DV, which would be their dodge bonus. So we're going to, our decorated gloves is going to provide us a 10 dodge bonus. It's going to be worth one. Thick gauntlets. Four, four, one, five, uh, four, one, zero. Uh, it's going to be worth two. Gloves. 
one plate gauntlets six three zero three heavy light gloves three uh they're going to provide just a little bit of armor not really as efficient uh five cost uh well one actually bump up the gloves uh armor value by a little bit Composite gauntlets. These are the most efficient. They're going to, uh, they're going to see they're going to be worth. They're going to be they're going to be weight four. They're going to have no evasion bonus, and they're not going to have they're going to have a little bit of damage bonus, and they're going to have decent armor. Belts, girdle, one composite girdle, two plate girdle, three. What's the composite girdle all about? Four. There we go. Two, four, six. Who do we appreciate? Boots. Boots. Oh, hey, Nody. Random question. What's the name of the website you use for notes? I use, use them, but I forgot the name. It's Miro. M-I-R-O. Miro. Uh, I like Miro. And Miro, please sponsor me. I shill your product already. Give me money. <laughs> Give me the money. I will be your I will be your strongest soldier. Heavy boots, three. Composite boots, four. Shoes, one. Boots, one. Tight boots, one. Armored boots, three. Seven Leagues Boots. One. Put a note there. Alright. Okay, so, wait, actually, I gotta... Rings are fine. So we gotta do rings real fast. Uh, two... Armored ring is going to provide two zeros across the board. Engagement with zeros across the board. Uh, Aurora ring, two speed ring. Uh, these aren't going to weigh anything because they're fucking rings. I'm not going to be like, they take up one slot. No. So, claw shield. Play the hero till I die. Um, We want to do small shield is going to be worth two. Night shield is going to be four. Round shield is going to be three. Basic shield is going to be three. Yeah, it's going to be three. Large shield is going to be four. Height shield, you're going to be, you're going to be six. Tower shield's going to be fucking eight. It's going to be a heavy fucking shield. You're going to be two. There we go. There we go. There are all our boots. There's all our various pieces of equipment. So next we're going to go here. We're going to paste everything inside and wowie zowie. Everything is broken. Everything like my life is broken. Woo! I'm gonna go where I'm gonna go where capitalism can't reach me. Space. Hmm. <laughs> No pad, no pad. This doesn't make any sense. I don't know either. I am, I am literally going off what the what like what the actual math here is saying. Uh, uh. 
Okay, so this is where things start getting a little bit hectic. So what we need to do is we need this to double check everything here and get rid of all of this. Core concepts remain in place. The, the core ideas are fine. Just getting rid of all the item codes. That's all they are. Beautiful, beautiful item codes. Hopefully, when we get rid of all of the item codes, it should be good. Save some space. Even though technically these should be eight. Footnote. Oh, uh, wings and feather wings. Wings and feather wings uh, provide the hero provide the hero the ability to float. To float in combat, ignore Float in combat, uh, ignoring, ignoring terrain, ignoring terrain. Yes, they can freely ignore terrain. Leather wings. Vindale cloak. The Vindale cloak. Mm. We find other disease fast. Other disease, let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We go here. Your corruption. We have to go all the way back down to our armor. The Vindale cut cloak. Uh reduce. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Double the time it takes to uh, gain a tier of ether disease. The Vendale cloak is very good if you are trying to get if you are trying to avoid dying violently. Uh, round shield, shield, um, decorative ring, yeah. composite ring. See, the thing is, if this was just this, this would be very easy. Cool, I'm done. I no longer have to think about this problem anymore. But, um, here's the secret I do. Tell me more about rings. Where's the sound? Um, yeah. Speed ring. Um, we're going to post a row below. We're going to merge that row. Merge that row. You're going to go down. We need to do is we need to select everything here actually and reduce it down to eight to maintain consistency and we're going to do with the speed ring which is going to be increase speed by plus two and then we're going to column below or cell increase um mm -hmm. Increase sonic resistance. Uh, actually, what we can do is increase elemental resistance. This is by one step. Yep. Yep, that's kind of the idea behind that. Uh, none of the other ones really have that as like notes that you need to have. If I want to be real, real particular, what I will do is put the seven loop.
Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go to the Vindale Cloak. Vindale Cloak. We're going to then insert column below. We're going to merge the row. Uh, and then we're going to do double times the game to ether disease. Put that right there. We're going to make that eight. We're going to hit that button. Mm -hmm. Going to go to low, thing below. Provide a uh, float during combat and dur ignore rain. Do merge paste eight control I. Put in the middle, control C, control V. There we go. We don't need to note the Vindale cloak. We don't need to know, ignore the leather wings now. Some things need to get fixed up, but we're going to not worry about it right this second. I don't have manly money. <laughs> I don't have money. I don't got any manly money. Man, that really sucks. You don't have any manly money. If only you had real. If only you had real notes, notes, note coin. You might be a real human being. You should gamble more. <laughs> go, to, go to your local casino and gamble. Maybe God will like you more. Oh. Oh. Oh goodness. Okay, so. We have made it this far. Now, you may be thinking, ah, oh, wow, good job, Notepad, you've done a lot. Here's the thing, we have more to do. And that more to do is materials. Mm -hmm. Materials. Every piece of equipment, uh, every piece of equipment. As, state, as, as stated before, stated before, material, uh, a material makes uh, a material makes up what the item what the item actually what the item is actually actually made of the item is what what the item actually is uh, what the item is actually is actually made of from simple from simple bronze from simple bronze weapon from si simple bronze to to um exotic mithril to exotic mithril every material every material every material as its benefit has its benefits and drawback as its benefits and drawbacks it, it will be uh for ease for ease of access for ease of access these uh these modifiers these modifiers will be will be divided will be divided between weapon between weapon and armor and armor material bonuses material bonuses and penalties Okay, so this is going to be the hard part. So what we need to do is we're going to take the Iwona, Iwona spreadsheet. So we've got all of this. Wow. Then we go here. Now, what we need to do is we have our we have our basic materials. These are every single one of our materials that we are going to be working with. This is just by default what they are. The weight factor. Now, the weight factor is going to be what we're going to call it. It's going to be the weight modifier. It's going to be weight modifier. And it's going to be a times... Effectively, it's going to be a multiplication. I said no multiplication, but don't worry. It's only going to be like W. So, the cost... The cost modifier. The cost modifier. Going to be the same idea. It is going to be entirely percentage-based. Getting a really good item is going to be getting a really expensive item. So, this is going to be hit bonus, damage bonus, defense, uh, and then uh, defense value. Defense, uh, def actually I should say defense value bonus. Uh, uh, what we should do is move everything into here. We don't need any of this. So, 
This is all we effectively need in this current state of affairs. Reset all of this. This is the most important things that we need. Put everything down here. Cool. This is all this is all we need. Now, if we want to make we're going to make two tables of this. We got two tables. One, we're going to get rid of sand. We don't need to worry about sand. Sand isn't real. move you down okay so we are going to this is going to be our going to be here we're going to not need this here and this is going to be our defense value that's all we're going to be worried about all of our defense value bonuses Nothing else. Nothing at all. None of this matters. Nah. None of this matters to me. Select you like that. We're going to put you like that. We're going to merge. Merge them. Yes, merge. He said, merge, merge. <laughs> uh, this is going to be weapon material. Armor material. And what I should put is a big note. And I'm going to put a note on there for the simple, for two very simple reasons. One, the note is going to help us understand that something is something else. So, you know, like, hey, this item is actually edible. That's actually a fairly important note to have. You can eat this item. It, this, this piece of equipment is, in fact, edible. Mmm. -hmm. Okay, so we're going to move just to keep things in the right and right. We're going to do that. We're going to move you over here. So this is what it's going to... Because we do die value. That's the die value modifier. And we mimic our. We mimic everything else. So here we go. Mm. So. This is going to remain effectively. If it is 100, it's going to remain the same. How's it going? Not great. We are officially, we have officially hit, uh, we've officially hit the wonderful point of me just having to, having to just do material stuff for weapons. Because how it works in this game, Taxi 2 stock, is that every single weapon actually is made of a material. So when you say I have a bronze weapon, you have a bronze, if I go to sheet number three, a bronze dagger. That's gonna change a bunch of values here. Now, if I have a iron dagger, that's gonna be different. I have a platinum dagger. That's actually going to change some things about how the weapon actually functions. And you get some other ones like, you know, Technically, if you have a raw item, you can eat it. Yeah, you can just eat your sword if you want. <laughs> hey, your your sword is raw. Eat it. Because of the thickness of the material and hardness. Not even necessarily that, because some materials like glass, for example, 
One of Glass's biggest exa like biggest values is that it makes you go faster. <laughs> this is all based off a uh, Japanese roguelike called uh, Alona. You may have heard of it, you may not have. Uh, it is very detailed, and there's a lot of things like it. And you, you, there's a lot of things that are very um, interesting with this game. We will, we will, we will casually refer to it as interesting. Anything more than that's kind of a kind of a material risk for everyone involved. So what we can do is we want to do a die value modifier. We want to keep it at 100. Okay, there we are. So a very much uh, gamus on the GNR spectrum. Oh, beyond or beyond that, I'm vaguely familiar. So, yeah, it's. Ilona is incredibly unique. It is a very unique game. Uh, and by very unique, it has its very has a very uh, interesting series of things that can occur and interactions and way the system technically works because like technically every enemy is rolled randomly every time they come into a map. Because so you can fight level five street jesters or yeah yeah play sort of like those old DOS game. Have you ever played Net Hack? If you've ever played Net Hack or the really old roguelikes, Alona is pretty much just Japanese. Yeah, Alona is pretty much Japanese Net Hack. It is very detailed and very um strange because you see that dice value modifier. That technically is going to indicate the number of dice we're going to be rolling, otherwise known as the dice sides, not the die value necessarily. We'll always be rolling four, but our katana technically does 44 damage. Our claymore does 3d7 damage. Oh no. Yeah, the very, very fascinating game for all, for all its problems and beauty. Let me check something. So I need to check the bracket. Um, tell me more. Tell me more. I want to know my own. Let's see. Base die times a uh, die side factor. I know. We're not going to. Because if it's iron. Wait, does that mean if it's iron? I'm correct, then the iron version of a longsword should do a lot of damage. Steel does d14. Um, bone would still do d14, but doesn't have as high a damage bonus. Uh, but a glass weapon... Okay. Alright, so... Here's where things started getting interesting. What we need to do is everything one of these is technically going to be die, uh, I should say the dice, uh. Mm. Everything at 100 is going to remain at zero. This technically what happens is there's a lot of multiplication that goes on. We're just going to assign it to zero. That's... Uh, we give it. It's going to be two. Hmm. Actually, if it's coral, how much would it be if it's coral with 120? It'd be 12. So yeah, no, I am right. Actually, we can do three. So metal four, four, four. Five, 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 six, seven. This, if this is, this would be seven. This would be six, nine. That would be nine, nine. Okay, 
Then we have our damage bonuses. So this is what our modifier to the damage bonus would be. Very Caves of Cud, yes. It, Caves of Cud uh, exists because of Alona. That's a that's a very that's actually a no. They actually cite Alona. I encourage total system mastery, not necessarily one answer, but OP rock, paper, scissors, beat your opponent's bullshit strategy with your bullshit strategy, and mind mapping dungeons for DD 3.5. Yeah. It's kind of the idea of Lona. It is very much a roguelike. I'm I've been kind of like contorting the math a little bit to be like, this needs to be playable by human beings still. Let's not I try not to, like, I've been trying to put that in my mind the entire time, being like, I still need to make this game playable for human beings. A uh, little bit much easier said than done, by the way. Um, yeah, much, much easier said than done. It's just Let's just call a spade a spade there. Um, let's do 10, 15, 10... Dawn Cloth, we're going to bump up to 20. Glass is going to be 25. Yeah, 25. It's a lot easier to hit with glass. Iron is just going to get... Actually, we can bump iron down to 5. No, let's bump iron down to 0. If it's single... Di if it's low single digits, it's going to go down to... Z it's going to go down to 0. So, chain here. If it's lower than... If it's lower than a certain amount, we're going to round... We're going to round up. That's what we're going to do. That's going to be the kind of the plan. So leather would just become 10, 15. Uh, raw technically would be... We're going to make that negative 10. Silk would just become 10. Spirit cloths would become 0. Negative 10. This is a deeper... This is a percentile system, by the way. That's not technically how the game is, but that's what we're working with. Bump it up to 10. 10, 15. 15, 10... 15, 10, 10, 15, 20. Now, the reason I'm bumping things up and like kind of twisting, you know, contorting things where they need to go is for simply ease. Because, yeah, you don't really need to be a really good warrior to you. If you have a good piece of equipment, like, you're going to do fine. Like, you're going to get a small hit bonus. If we really want to, we can do... A couple of, like, what I would call, like, basic weapons and things like that. We can actually reduce down. Metal can be zero. Bone we can reduce down to zero. Pearl, let's bring let's bring some of these numbers down. Platinum. Gold's gonna be 10. Steel, we can go down to 10. Like, yes, I have steel, you know, it's like chrome. Let's just bring chrome down to zero because you are that's kind of like the big jumping point. Crystal. A crystal is fine. Titanium, we're gonna bring down to 10. Dragon scale, we're gonna bring down to 15. No, dragon scale, let's let's keep it there. Let's put you at 10. Let's put Mithril at, uh, let's put Mithril at 5. Actually, let's put Mithril at 10. Rubis. Rubis is going to keep at pretty high. We're going to make you 30, though. Reduce you by 10. Diamond. We're gonna... Adamantine, I'm going to make you 0. Because Adamantine is, like, the most consistent, like, low-tier weapon. Like, not low-tier, but, like, the most, kind of the biggest, like, this is the, like, big thing. Look at my sister, like, all right, let's, like, all right, I'm struggle scaling. I was, I'm too struggle scaring people off my autism lol. <laughs> my coworkers give me looks when I say some shit, like, all right, let's do some math. Every now and again, I run into a project like this, being like, there's no good way of doing things. It is just, you have to sit down and you have to do the math. It is like, all right, like, okay, everybody, time for math. Oh, boy. So, if we assume that this is times 1, we assume that every 100 is times 1. 
fine. That's gonna make things pretty easy. So this is times two, times two, times point two, going to be times point two. It would be um. Time 1.8, 1.8 times 3. Mica is times. That would be 2 out of 5. That would be 2 fifths. Ew. Ew. Why is that such a weird, awful number? Um. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. Um. Actually, if we do times 0.2, times 0.5. This is a really bad way of doing things with pi is 0.4 times 0 0.1. 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 times 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.8 times 1.7, uh, 0 0.7 times 1.8 times 2.8 metal is very heavy times 1.6 times 3 times there's probably a lot better way of doing this i know there probably is a lot better way of doing this but i don't know what it is so i'm just kind of doing it by hand just to kind of get it done because the advantage is once it's done here I don't really need to worry about it over on the next table. So if this is the modifier, and if we apply the same, if we apply the same logic effectively. If we apply the same logic over here, Everything is going to be... Point nine, and one, uh, seven point five times point five times five times two point four two point four times ten. If yeah, if you have Griffin scale, it's going to be worth ten times the value. Uh. I'm I'm going bankrupt. <laughs> my my favorite part of the game is when I get, when I go bankrupt because of poor life decisions. Oh, you're gonna make me do this, aren't you? Okay, that's an awful number. Uh, doesn't help that this looks like fucking Comic Sans. It's not Comic Sans, by the way. All right, there we go. It is Lexend. Silence, screen simply I cannot share. Doing it the hard way, yeah. Front loading of your work so you're not to create debt later. Yeah, the issue with like right now is that once the weight modifier and cost modifiers are in, I can just actually apply it over here pretty easily. It's just getting them done and then putting the various notes in. So if I apply the basic notes, like let me, um, what I'm gonna do is metallic, metallic. Um, textile, textile, glass, metallic. Because the thing is, you don't actually know what an item is until you identify it. What is mica? Mica is a crystal. So it's crystal. Paper paper edible 
uh, textile. You don't really know what it is until you actually identify it. So it's like, hey, you know you have a textile. That's all you know. You have a textile, a piece of armor. What does it do? You don't know. You don't know what it is. It could be cloth. It could be dawn cloth. It could be anything, really. All you really know is that it is, in fact, a textile. Until you identify and be like, oh, it's this. Oh, we're filthy rich. Oh, we're worthless. Uh, wood. Some of them are just wood. Xylon's a metal, if I recall correctly. No, Xylon's a textile. Uh, liquid. Textile, I guess you would call it crystal. Griffin scale, metallic. Scale, metallic, metal, metallic, obsidian, bristol, silver, metallic, bone, bristol, gold, metallic, pearl, bristol, platinum, metallic, steel, metallic, chrome, metallic, bristol, crystal, titanium, metallic, dragon scale, crystal, emerald, Crystal, mithril is metallic. Rubin, rubinous, rubinous. What's rubinous? It's. I think it's supposed to be ruby. So we're going to call it ruby. Crystal. Crystal. Metal. Uh, metal, metal, and ethereal. That's all you really know about the other one. It's ethereal. Something isn't quite... Something is very wrong with that other one. Like, hmm, something, something's weird here. Because ether material is very fucking weird and you shouldn't touch it. Don't... Do not touch the ether material. Whatever you do not touch the ether. You will get... You will get magic cancer. <laughs> And everyone will make fun of you. Uh, nobody likes the magic cancer. It is the weight cost modifier. We're gonna just pop. Should be able just to copy paste that in here. Yep. Then we take all that. Take all that. Ooh. So we do this. We this there we go. It is entirely possible to get just a worse piece of armor. Uh, let me just double check throughout here. Because we have the... No, that's the weapon material. We do have... Uh, let's round some things up just to make the math a little bit easier. It's really low, I'm not going to work. But yeah, technically you can have mica, which provides zero bonus. There is no reason for you to use mica. Pearl, um, platinum, ruby, the 25, silk, something like that all right I believe that is the material list so we're, go we're gonna do we're gonna paste the material actually yeah, I'm gonna paste the material list in here and oh oh god it works oh thank god it actually works 
Mother Maria, we are we are gaming. We are so fucking back. Unlink the table. Okay, so now we have to select the armor material table. Then we paste it right here. We paste it unlinked as well. We select everything here. We go to Lexan Extra Light. Down to eight. Can do is we can actually stretch it out a little bit like this, just so it matches up a little bit. There we go. Not perfect the way that all the tables are laid out, but we can. I can. I can manage. All right, I can manage. And all right. I'm not responding, I'm just focused. So we do that, do that. So. Let's make a very basic, we want to make long sword. I want to make a long sword, all right? I want to make a long sword and a, and a brigadine. Cool. We've made a long sword. What is our long sword out? All the way up here. Our long sword is by default 2d8, 2d8 plus two, plus two with a plus five hit bonus. With a plus five hit bonus of 500 GP to, to S. Now to the Brigadine. The Brigadine is 12 DV, 8 S, uh, 8 S, uh, technically, I should do 6,400 6, GP, 8S. Okay. I could probably switch around the cost in the there. Let's make things a little easier. So, let's say I want to make a metal... Uh, I want to make a metal longsword. All I want to do, make a metal longsword. So, 4. I'm going to increase that up to 12. DV is 8, so I do 2D12 plus that, and the weight modifier is times 2.8, so take my 2, 2 times 2.8, not exactly complex math, but it's 5.6, and it becomes, because we round down, it becomes 5, always round down, so we take a look at what metal is, 1.9, so we take our 500 GP, 500 time, times 1.9 for 950. Becomes worth 950 gold points. Gold gold pieces, anyway. And let's say we want to make a... If we go down to armor material, I want to make a... I want to make a iron brigadine. Iron brigadine. Defense value bonus, 10. So we go to 22. Three times weight modifier. Eight times three would be 24. It's very heavy. Cost modifier is half. So we would go down to 3,200. And we know it's metallic. There we go. That is... Congratulations. This is how we make... That's 55, but we'll do that. Is that 55 up here? Yeah, we got five. This it's five. It's times. It's times five, not fifty-five. Okay. Okay. 
All right. So we can successfully make weapons. We <laughs> we can successfully make weapons and armor with the proper materials in place. Takes a little bit, but we can. I'll probably break these down to like tier one materials, tier two materials, tier three materials, just so we can more easily uh, roll on various charts to generate them. But good on that front. We've got the hard parts done. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call it uh, what I need to do. There's a few things I need to do. I'm going to do this kind of off camera. Or we'll do it like a notepad must die later on to uh, kind of finish some various aspects up. What we need to do is... I need to, I'm need. i calling it here because my throat's giving out, to, to be perfectly frank with you. Uh, and I still need to record a video for, tonight, for tomorrow. What we need to do is quality, the IMQ, and we need to do hex. We need to do hexes. Uh, which is going to be the blessing. These are going to be just charts, pretty much. Those are just literally going to be, this is what they do, this is what they don't do. Most of the time, what I'm going to do is, like, if you have a higher quality weapon, it's going to just add a flat, like, to, you know, to this, to that. Like, you're going to be better off. It's not going to be very intense. Like, these are going to be very short sections. But after that, for just item-wise, things that we need to kind of worry about item-wise that I'm going to probably put in. I need to put in uh, wands, uh, it should be rods, uh, rods and scrolls. Rods and scrolls aren't going to be too difficult. They're Because rods and scrolls are all based off of spells. That's kind of the big thing there. They're based off of spells. And because they're based off of the spells, what we can do is be like, hey, you found a rod of this. This is like what we've broken down to be kind of like a tier one, tier two, tier three. It's kind of like what your your basic idea of what you're working with. And rods you, rods are, you can cast them pretty actively, but they're like wands. You as, Instead of using a casting stat, you're using your magical device stat. And scrolls are one and done. You, you use a scroll, you fire the scroll, it's done. With all the associated problems that usually go along with me. Along with me saying, just cast it and go for it. So that should be pretty easy there. Outside of that, I should do like maybe put in some not and you'll put in some notes about deeds. These aren't gonna be too complicated to do. That's again, this is gonna be something I need to sit down and just do. Um outside of that. Actually, we don't even really need deeds, do we? Outside of that, that should be fine. That's really the only other ma major thing we need to do. Once we get done that, though, what needs to happen is we need to do um, enemies, enemies and pets. I don't really know how I want to word it, but this is the enemies and pets section, which is going to be another fairly long part, but I'm feeling decent about it. Then we go to advancement, which once advancement's done, we're done. We are effectively at the home stretch. And as you can kind of see, like, we really only have these things. Because magic is done once advancement is done. Because I already have the idea of how advancement works. You're in the middle of the metal battle, the warrior fighter is charging you with his weapon and screaming at sexy time. What do you do? Uh, panic. Um, I think we're doing pretty all right. Most likely... Friday will be a notepad must die, trying to get as much as possible. Will it get done entirely? I don't know. I'm like 90% sure it will. Uh, we might have to do one more day. Uh, if that happens, we're just going to, it's just going to delay caps a little bit and that should be. But yes, we will call it there. Thank you all for watching. My name is Notepad Anon. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. Godspeed. Good luck. I will see you all at a later time. Hopefully to maybe tomorrow, depending on how I'm feeling. Uh, if we do do a stream tomorrow, it will be setting up the next Dewong. That's the big thing. We're going to be setting up the next Dewong stream, uh, which we're going to be probably translating Enchanted Lands uh, from Russian. Yes, we're going to be translating a Russian RPG because God help us all. I, I feel like it. So.
Thank you. Godspeed. Good luck. Love you all. Kissu kissu. Uh, I am away.